What's going on? It's facts you don't know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more well informed. Make sure to subscribe and active the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. This house is located in Newport, Oregon and at first glance looks like any other house. The combination of white paint, cream brick and a two-car garage is what characterizes the exterior. However, the inside hides a real surprise and is the complete opposite of the outside. You'll feel like you're living in one of Rembrandt's paintings. For almost 35 years, no one noticed the interior until the house was put up for sale. Why flaunt your property? This is how many wealthy people think today, and in general, they're right. Few people can covet this house because it's normal, only a little bigger than, say, a house for a small family. For American households, this is a common practice. But this is if only judging by the cover. Once inside, we move to the Renaissance period. The finishing materials and furniture for this remodeling were brought from Europe. The owner of this house knocked down several walls on the first floor to make her living room spacious. According to her, every corner of the room must be a work of art. During World War II, the stained glass windows of Lancaster Cathedral were taken outside of their hometown. Then by chance they were found in the attic of a house in London. Now they adorn this fascinating mansion. The two chairs intended to be seats of honor can boast of their 400-year history. The remaining six chairs date back to the 1700s. Their upholstery matches the color of the carpet and curtains. Almine Barton is the owner of this house. Almine is a seer, a fortune teller, and a writer. This house was bought in 1979 when this was a simple single-family home inside and out. But over the years, this woman has completely changed the interior of the house without touching its exterior. Place that will make you daydream. I still can't believe it's real. At 2114 Crestview Street in Newport, Oregon, United States, there's a two-story house, yellow bricks and huge doors that open to the garage, which really would not impress anyone. I dare say the house is even a little ugly. However, what's inside is difficult to describe in words. Inside this place is a real castle that's worthy of King Arthur, Marie Antoinette, or Henry VIII. Amazing? Well, keep watching. This is the home of Almine Barton, the Countess of Shannon, who, along with her late husband, decided to buy this house in 1979 to transform it into a treasure, but keeping the facade intact in order to evade taxes. The house currently has a value of nothing more and nothing less than $399,000, and the reason you can discover it through the images below. The interior of this property is truly majestic, and for this there are good reasons. Its owner, who now sells her property, is none other than Elmina Burton, titled Countess Shannon. In the decorations on the windows, Countess Shannon also showed her character inside of the favorite windows full of light and air. Now she decorated them with stained glass. She admitted she likes how these stained glass windows remind her of the interior of Gothic cathedrals. The sun plays entertaining and shines on the pieces of the colored glass. Mrs. Elmina admired. There are 17th century windows with wonderful stained glass windows that were purchased from old English churches. Hand carved wood, glass lamps, gilt molding, and ceilings that were created by the angels themselves. It has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a 13 meter long kitchen with a fireplace. The lobby is lined with more silk and, well, there are works of art in every corner. This area of the house where she has her study was not remodeled as she did with the rest. Imagine feeling that you wake up every day in a castle. This house will certainly find a buyer. Who doesn't want to find a knight in their shining armor at home? Or be a princess waiting to be rescued? Good luck, Almine, in your search for someone who appreciates your vision. All vases cost a fortune. The ceilings are hand-painted, the plates are gilded, and there are hunting trophies hanging on the walls. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.